You just gotta suppress all your emotions so that you don't feel anything, Mari. Yeah, that's uh, so you can just be like explode at someone later, like Rachel. Okay. <laughs> I was gonna say you just hold it all in until you eventually implode and destroy yourself from the inside, but <laughs> that's just me. Why are you crying, sweetheart? Ooh. Because you're not real. <laughs> I'm not. What is going on? What's past is prologue and shit. Kiddo, look on the bright side, would ya? What bright side? You made a new friend today. I guess I did that. Gotta say, that was some fight. A lover's quarrel, you might say? <laughs> she nearly took your head off. What do you care? Sorry, sweetheart. I guess I'm getting into your personal business. I don't feel drunk. Sometimes people need you, though. Whoa, Even that, when they that was don't admit it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is she gonna like murder us? Because this looks murderous. Uh, oh man. Rachel, you might want to get a cream for that. Rachel! I didn't get a chance to move all the stuff. Move what stuff? I gave you an option to move the poster. Um. I was going to do it last. Oh my god, we just fell asleep in the middle of the junkyard? In the car that our in dad oh died in. Oh my gosh. I think he's telling us that we should go help her anyway. I think he's telling us that sometimes people push you away when they're in pain, and that doesn't mean that they... Don't want you to help them. Yeah. Which is interesting because that's what Rachel is doing to us, and that is eventually kind of what Chloe does to Max. It pushes at her. Hmm, I suppose Chloe does that with everybody in her life. Symbolism and shit. The dream told her where she would be. The crow told her. I think it's a raven. Or Raven. You came. I'm glad. Hey. I couldn't let the day end with whatever this afternoon was. Chloe, 
I want to talk to you about something, but I don't know how to talk about this. You don't have to tell me anything you don't want to. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? The ones who were making out? That was my dad. Oh. Mm. All right. And that woman was definitely not my mom. Oh. The worst part is... <laughs> I'm not surprised. I felt like my dad's been lying about something for a while. I just... I didn't know what it was. So when I saw he got a text from an unknown number asking him to meet, I thought I, thought I could catch him or something. I'm so sorry, Rachel. I don't... I don't know what to say. Neither do I. Chloe, I love my dad. I love him. And I never want to see his fucking face again. When my dad died, I was so mad at him. For months, I felt wrong because half the time I thought of him, I wanted to scream. And the other half, I forgot. Forgot that anything had changed. It's silly, but I've carried this photo around with me for years. It's from Mount Hood. My dad took me hiking there when I was 10 and it started raining and I fell and broke my arm three miles from the car. I remember screaming like I was gonna die, but my dad, he carried me down the mountain. I still remember the smell of his coat and how calm he was and the sound of his voice and... He was just so strong, you know? I, I felt safe. You trusted him? Completely. Here. Chloe, I owe you an apology. Hey, we were both kind of the queen of shitty. No, I mean it. Whatever's going on between us, it's intense and new and awesome. And you had the courage to tell me that you feel it too. And I treated you like shit. Yeah, you kind of did. I don't know if I'd call it that. More like blind desperation. I just want you to know I'm lucky that you were with me today. You're a badass, Chloe Price. What? Remember Aww. that biker asshole who wouldn't let you into the mill? You talked your way right past him. You saw that? And those skeevy douchebags who followed you upstairs? You dropped that one guy with a bottle to the face. Only because you showed up at the last minute, and... What about Drew? When he was picking on Nathan? You got right in his face and called him out. That was pretty sweet, actually. See? You're the real thing, Chloe. I don't know anyone like you. Plus, you came along with me, no questions asked. Well, I don't really need a good reason to ditch school. <laughs> I guess tomorrow there'll be hell to pay. My mom might skip grounding and just go straight to the death penalty. And my dad will definitely punish me with... Fuck your dad. Fuck Not him. like that. What I wouldn't give to leave this place and never look back. What's stopping us? Us? Are you serious? There's nothing keeping me here. Not anymore. So, if I came to you tomorrow and told you to pack your bags, 
I'm serious. Let's do it, Chloe. Let's leave this place forever. Okay. I wonder how that dialogue goes if you hadn't done those things. Mm. It's probably just shorter. Starting forest fires. I just wanted to be sassy on the petition, okay? <laughs> See the raven again? Everyone's fine with this? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> oh, look, a humongous fire. Hmm. to enjoy it. Oh, wow. I already have theories formulating in my mind. You know, it's interesting because like through the whole beginning part, it I feel like it was so much so much more straightforward and then it's like the back half of it just hits you with all this symbolism. Not that there's none in the first half, but like, I feel like there's a lot more setup. I'm thinking. I'm putting a bunch of things together in my head. You don't have to talk about theories right now. But I, I know, but I'm just trying to put something together in my head because I feel like something is on the edge of my brain and, and, and like, and I'll talk about it later. Mm -hmm. um, well, we hope that you enjoyed this Let's Play. Uh, it is... I was so worried that this was going to be some bullshit shit because, like, they put an anarchy letter into the Life is Strange logo and I was like, fucking posers! <laughs> and then now I'm totally fucked up. I was totally wrong. This is going to be great. And it was great. Yep. So... 
you were, awesome. you were you were ripping on the voice actor and a bunch of other stuff, but I think no, they... no, name the other stuff. What? I didn't name, I didn't rip on anything. The voice else. actor, the anarchy symbol, how people dress like they're from Hot Topic. I didn't um, say that. How I this said is a prequel, and you didn't want to hear about Rachel's story. Wait, wait! I literally did not say they are dressed like they're from Hot Topic. I said it doesn't look like she got that from Hot Topic. Yeah, so you're ripping on people from Hot Topic. Oh, but that doesn't have anything to do with um whatever. Hey, it's your favorite color. It doesn't have anything to do with the game. Also, um, yeah, I will make fun of people who go to Hot Topic because maybe or maybe not I went to Hot Topic. <laughs> because maybe I went there and I was a loser. <laughs> <laughs> I know I was a loser, so if you did what I did, you're a loser too. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 but I, you know... They tricked me because they were like, yeah, Rihanna's voicing Chloe Price. So I was like, Rihanna? But really, it was just some other Rihanna. <laughs> I was like, wait, just like, Rihanna? Hold on. Um, I was just, I'm so excited that this, like, it feels like life is strange. Yeah. I was really worried that it, it was not going to hold that. And I mean, I think that a lot of Chloe's writing comes down to, like, Ashley Birch helped with that with shit. With that, to make her character consistent with how she felt she would be represented. And it was just... I mean... I like how it's gay right off the bat. Yeah. They don't, like... They don't... Tiptoe around tip-toe it Tiptoe around all. it. They're like, Yo! I masturbated to a lady! <laughs> well, and Steph is gay. Yeah. But, like, just the whole, like... In the very first episode, you're like, Bam! Hey, Rachel, we're more than friends. I feel it. Yeah, yeah, but you don't you don't have to go there. But I know, but it's definitely an option right off the bat yeah, instead of it to, being like will they won't they to maybe be, to be clear as opposed to like the original game where it's kind of like ah. maybe it's a response to like uh, legitimate fan criticism where they felt a little queer baited and mm. like there's a lot of anxiety for people who really want to have uh, gay representation or queer representation. For people who want to be represented. There's a lot of anxiety, so then that anxiety can, like, build up, and you're like, are they gonna do it, or are they gonna hurt me? Am I gonna get hurt again? Like, what's gonna happen? Is this going to be, like, a lot of build-up for friendship? Or queer baiting, or and if it And if it is friendship, that's okay, but you just have to establish that that's what it is, so that you're not, like, leaving the question up in the air. Yeah, so, so for people who are, like, always like, oh, I understand, why is the gay community so mad? It's like, because it's like this thing that happens over and over again, so it kind of makes you a little bit, like, stressed out and uh, cautious. Like, you, you're worried that you're going to get hurt by a TV show or something, which is something yeah. you shouldn't have to be worried about, but it is. Mm -hmm. So, the problem is that there's not enough gay characters for people to latch on to. So, like, the two gay characters that people find in media they like, they're gonna hold on to that as hard as they can. And even if it's good writing and something bad happens to them, that's the only good character they have to, like, well, feel. You have know? you ever looked at... There's a, there's a good list that somebody put together of all the lesbian characters that have died. It's I think it's a trope, TV too. Yeah. Well, but, like, all the... So, Bury your gays or whatever? Yeah. And it's it's really I mean no, I'm not saying that like gay characters can never die but it is like there's like that whole barrier gay is like tragic trope. Yeah. So if you're ever feeling like oh man look at the gay community complaining all the time well you could feel the same way if every time you've tried to have somebody who you related to ended up dying in a way to make straight people feel bad. Well, I mean, just imagine, like, something about yourself, something about your identity, and if every time that identity was represented, there was something negative that had to go along with it. They it's had kind of, to die. You know what? It's kind of like, here's an example, it's kind of like when people always portray bipolar people as being crazy axe murderers. Stacey, you've only killed one person I've with an axe. I've only killed one person. With an axe. I Maybe mean, some other really? she's only killed one person. She killed you. Kill one person with an axe for the rest of your life. You're an and axe then murderer. And for the rest of your life, you're an axe murderer. It's like, geez. But yeah, so it's like in all the crime shows. Like every time they show somebody who has a mental health thing, they're always. That's okay because OCD means I have superpowers. Mm-hmm. That's true. I have superpowers because I've I've seen Monk. 
Are you are you offended by that though? Because oh yeah, kind of like... I am. I am. I was joking. What? I'm, I was joking about liking that I apparently have superpowers. Oh. Because whenever I tab, tell people I have OCD, they just go, Oh, so uh, you're obsessed with being clean, you're obsessed with this and this, ha 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 ha, and I'm like, no, that's the entire reason I had no idea I had OCD until I was 27. Because I thought I had to have all these things, mm. and I was like, wow, I really feel like some of these things are it, but I'm never going to say anything because everyone's going to say that I'm like making it up for attention or blah blah blah. So I never said anything until I got diagnosed, and I was like, Fuck "Well, the media." I can tell you for sure. When you first brought it up, I was like, "But she's so messy." And then I slapped you in the face. No, <laughs> you can't reach my face. I'm too tall. <laughs> and then I jumped in the air and swatted at your face a little. Mari's got hops. <laughs> I jumped in the air and swatted at your face. <laughs> See, that, so that's why depictions of media where it's completely like based off of certain things can be harmful because I suffered for a long time, and Stacey, I'm sure you've suffered from negative tropes about being bipolar. Yeah, be, well, because it's like you think that, you know what it is, is I'm just speaking from my own personal experience. When you see it portrayed that way over and over and over, you start to feel like, wow, I'm crazy and none of my feelings are valid and nothing I believe is real. And that's not true. And then you're also worried about how other people see you. Like, oh my god, maybe what I'm seeing in this TV show is what reality is and I'm so crazy that I don't see it. Yes. That's the, that's the thing that really upsets me sometimes when I watch TV shows like, Maybe I'm the one who's wrong. Maybe I really am this fucked up and I just can't see it and everyone else has just been dealing with me. You know what else gets me too is that um, when when I see depictions like that, I'm like, wow, is that how the rest of the world sees me? Like when I say like that I'm bipolar, is, is that like what people automatically think of? Because I know that people like you and a lot of other people that I talk to online don't feel that way. They're like, oh yeah, whatever, you're just like a normal person. But it's like, you see how it's portrayed in shows and stuff and you're just like, oh my god, everybody thinks I'm like... I like this. Yeah. That I'm, so. in, that I'm such a burden and it sucks. Ooh. Let's see. You were mean to Joyce. Told Rachel you're more than just friends. Uh, I want to see if there's an okay. Oops, wrong one. Yep. I don't think you're. Uh, uh you oh. took the money. Took money. Purchased pot. pot. You read Joyce's self help book. Put the photo of William on the dresser. We didn't slip money into Joyce's purse. Because we used it to buy pot. pot. Because so we we're... Used to, yep. Great. <laughs> I was. I thought it would be great to balance out our owing a drug dealer. I feel like, you know... That was you told really Elliot good. you wouldn't go to the play. Because we're... Gay. You, listen, you didn't listen <laughs> to Sk Skip's demo. I don't we, give I, a oh, shit. I do not we give totally a We totally missed that. You I don't give the a tabletop sing game. Shingle shit about that creepy old man. A shingle shit. A shingle shit. You sabotage. <laughs> you, you believe told, in love. You told Rachel you believe in love. You shared your earbuds. Who wouldn't share their earbuds? My God, you jumped out of the train. Oh, apparently you cannot jump. I wonder. She'll if Rachel, probably just push, push you. you. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh my God. Shit. No one steals from me. I want my fucking money! Oh, shit. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, thank you, everybody, so much for coming to this Let's Play. We loved having you here, and it's four in the morning. Good night. Bye.